today's tech tip, we will answer one of the most frequently asked questions about setting up your Gibbs Cam for the first time. We will go to File, Preferences, and we will go through the most important preferences in each tab. When selecting a color scheme, select one that fits your area, whether you have high or low light. I prefer Gibbs Cam 2006 CR because it works well in high and low light. On marker size for machining markers, you now have the ability to select the size of the machining marker. I use medium since I have a large display. Your cord height for new bodies should be set to 10 thousandths of a millimeter. Under interface, select start maximized, always show tool preview on hover, zoom to mouse cursor, and open process dialog on upload. Always show tool preview on hover will give us this quick fly out for a tool. Zoom to mouse cursor does just that. Place your mouse on the screen, use your wheel to zoom in and out, and it will zoom centric to the cursor. On machining preps, I prefer to select ignore lathe max feed moves because I still have customers out there with lathes that have very slow servos and very limited computer capabilities. This will output all moves in a program as G1 moves instead of G0 and G1. Under File, you can set your undo memory and your save size. Under Import and Export, I set mine to TXT. If you're a Siemens user, you may set it to MPF. If you are an Akuma user, you may set it to MIN. Under Autosave, you may enable Autosave and enable an Autosave interval. Just be aware that you cannot undo past a saved point in time. Under Post Processor Comments, I simply unclick feet and meters since we don't use tape anymore. Com setup is completely up to you for RS-232 settings. Intermediate tooling allows you to set the folder where your intermediate tools live if you're using tool blocks and chucks in your machine simulation. Under G-Code Editor settings, you can select no G-Code Editor, the internal Gibbs Cam Editor, or you may select a custom application such as Simco or Predator. Thank you very much and enjoy your next tech tip.